everyone and good night i hope you are doing well wherever you're at i am traveling to the land of india tonight going to goa a world famous uh, resort state on the western side of that country uh it is a beautiful area that has uh experienced different things throughout its history and has a mix of cultures there because at one time the Port portuguese um had, had buildings and other things there and, and so there's uh, Christians and Muslims and uh, Hindu people there and it has beautiful beaches and architecture and waterfalls and cool things so we're gonna go to Goa tonight we're gonna visit there and we're gonna do this via a rule and rights sent to me via uh, Keo games Keo games is out of India they sent this all the way from India to me here I know that this was on the game crafter for a while too I was actually surprised to see that they had to send it all the way from india but they did they sent it all the way from india and that was really cool of them so thank you to keo games i have enjoyed playing the game a few times already and i'm going to tell you about the game right now so as we get into the game the game has um sheets like this that are uh landscape oriented where we are going through the city state uh not, sorry not city state but the state of goa and as we go around Goa, we're going to visit different types of sites. Like, uh, let's see, there's beaches, there are uh, waterfalls, there are forts, there are historical sites, and there are religious sites. And as we go to those different types of sites, we'll get points throughout the game. If we get a complete group of every type of site, that's 30 points at the end of the game. And if we get a three of a kind, um, that's an additional 10 points. If we get six of a kind of something that we get an additional 30 points beyond that. And then each site we visit is going to give us 10 points at the end of the game. We're also going to get an additional 20 points. If we get to dude cigar falls over here in the Eastern part of Goa, uh, in addition to all that, everybody gets that. I also want to point out these really cool little pencils. Um, they send pencils and they have seeds in them so that once you run out of being able to use the pencil as a pencil you just plant the the pencil in the ground and it will grow into seeds and plants and uh be part of the earth instead of just being junk so that's kind of cool to see but um, um my kids were really into that they, they saw those and they loved these pencils that they were seeds instead of erasers on the end especially for a roll and write game because you should just stick to your um stick to your plan and go with it so uh, in the beginning, you get two 40 cards and two 20 or 30 cards. These are kind of travel destinations that you want to visit throughout the game. And if you are able to visit all of them, you get the points on those cards. You keep one of the 40s and one of the 20 or 30s. I have selected mine already. And you roll dice. And in the game, you have a, a die that is going to be your direction. We have... Um, like if I were to roll a, uh, and pick a one as my direction, one is north, uh, four is south. So it's one, two, three, like that, four, south, five, and then six for that northwesterly direction. So depending on what you pick for your first die, you use that for your direction as shown here. And then second, we get uh, a die that is going to be how many we move. And then finally, you get a die that if it's a one through three, that determines how many deviations you can take. You can take one deviation if you get a one through three. If you get a four through six, that's two deviations that you can take with your movements. That's basically the game. Uh, I have to put a name in here. So I'm gonna put my name, Christopher, here up at the top. And get playing right away. It's really not that difficult of a game. Oh, one last thing I forgot to explain about. That is up here we have local guides that can give us a plus or minus one, including wrapping the die from a six to a one. And you could use more than one of these. Um, so go from a six to a one or vice versa. Um, but you could use more than one of these. Basically, when you get these, you circle them. And they are for the three beaches of uh, Palalim, uh, Kolva and Kalangunte, which is up here. So three different beaches uh, on the western side of the, uh, the state of Goa. All right. I think that's everything in the game. I think we can get playing now. And um, hopefully, I don't think I forgot any other rules, but let's get going. Oh, 
what I, I guess the one thing is you don't have to use the deviation dice for that one or two deviation. You can just use uh, the other two. In the multiplayer game, whoever is playing as first player gets to pick their direction uh, die first, and then the other players have to choose from the remaining die. That's the only major change. And there we go. Okay, we have a four, five, and six, so that's interesting. And our starting location is right here. Um, so let's see here. Where do I? Let's let's. You know what? What we're gonna do before we go any farther is I'm gonna mark off the different places we need to go. So I I need to go to Cabo uh, de Rama, one of those Portuguese influenced places. And there's uh, Galjib Hag, which is a beach, which is down here. So I need to go there and there. I'm just putting underneath here that I can go there and there, that I need to go there and there. And then Twin Falls. Okay, those are all relatively close together, so I need to be heading this direction. And then there is St. Augustine Tower, which is right here for this one. And Terracol. That's a problem because that is in the complete opposite direction. And then Surla Falls. All right, Surla Falls. This is going to be a harder one. Sometimes I get lucky with these. I just did these at random tonight, so maybe I should have taken a little bit longer to take a look at what my two cards were. But it is possible that I can pull this all off. Um, I'm, I do have a, a a six that could be my movement this time. Let's look at which way I want to get going. Um, by the way, if you ever end up going like off the map or into the sea or something like that, instead of doing that, you just simply turn around and retrace using a, a single movement in the opposite direction from which you were coming. So let's say I was um, going this way and then I needed to continue going this way. I would just go back, turn right around where I came from. We also only get to mark only the destinations we end our turns on. So this is day one. We rolled a four, five, and six. Let's see here. If I were to go in the direction of six, so let's say I take the six as my direction and I'm gonna have the five as my movement and the four uh, is the same as those two essentially because the four is part of that second deviation thing where I can do two deviations. So let's do this. Let's let's get going towards Terracol. And then we're going to make this loop around this way. And then hopefully kind of go like this. And then come back around and hit these final destinations. So we'll see how, how well we do with it. But we're going to use six for our, our, our direction. So we'll go one. And we're going to move five. And then this is our first move, uh, deviation. And then I'm going to go two and then i could go three four five and end up there that's not very good though because i don't get anything out um i could go let's see i could go so we've gone one two three four and then i could go five and come back to Kalangute, which would be one of that's one of the three spots that I would get a local guide. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I'm going to take that so I can use a local guide. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then turn around because going that same direction, we would, we would end up in the sea. So I can just turn back around and end up at Kellen Gute, which allows me to circle that. And now that gives me a plus or one minus to my, any one die in a later round and then I mark it off because um, we did one deviation and two deviation and then we were able to get that done okay that was day one and go okay day two is coming up now and there's a one a five and a three okay one five three and we're trying to get to Terracol so the only way we're going to be able to make two direction changes well i could use my one for my direction i think i'm going to do that because i could go one two three and four um if i used let's see here if i use that uh, so either one i'm going to use my um tour guide that i just got and fill that out so that's gone now so we're going to say this is a um i'm going to put that here i don't know why i would need two doesn't really matter the deviations, but I'm going to do that. So we're going to go one. Uh, wait, one, two, three. I only needed a three. I only needed a three. So I'm not going to, I'm, oh, I made a mistake there. I, don't, I didn't need to use that because I only need to go one. 
Oh wait, one, two, three. I did need a four. I can't count. I forgot that I I, I was here. So one, two, three, and four. I did need the four, so it was good that I did that. And then I'm at Terracol, and I can mark that off like that, which is nice. Um, oh, I forgot to do this last time. I got a beach, so I should mark my beach here. And then I uh, Terracol is a fort, so we're going to mark that off there too, like that. Um, this is a type of, of roll and write that I, I really enjoy, that it's just nice and calm and... A lot of fun just to do in the morning, you know, with some coffee or before you get to go and other things to get your brain up and going. Okay, so now I need to get over here to like back to St. Augustine's Tower or uh, this Serla Falls is way out here. That was day two. We, we're already two days out of our 12 done. I don't know how well we're going to do it, but um, let's see. Good rolls. Could change that for us. All right, because now we can move six. Maybe, but we need to he keep heading back this way. So if we can, let's see here. Uh, four would let us go south, but that's not, I mean, we could just keep, we could just take a deviation right away. Um, so maybe that's what I want to do. So maybe, maybe I want to say two is our direction. Two is our direction. Six is our movement and four is our deviation so that we get those two deviations. So right away, I'm going to take one of my two deviation and I'm going to turn um, and just go because I, I otherwise I'll go this way um, and lose a movement. So right away, I'm going to take one deviation. So I'm going to go one, two, three, um, four, five, and six. I'm not going to use a second deviation. Um, but here we are at the Christ statue, which is a not not actually a um, one of the religious sites. This one, is, even though it's called a Christ statue, it is a historical site. So we're going to fill that out there. And oh, I forgot that that was day three. I forgot to fill that out. Uh, so nothing now over here gets filled out. But we continue on our journey after I make sure that we're starting day four. So day four is about to start. That was actually pretty good. I like how that turned out. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. So we have a four, five, and six. And I need to get to St. Augustine's Tower. Uh, four would take us one. I guess we could go something like... Hmm. Maybe we could go one, two, three, four, and five. So we could use the four and the five to move with uh, this for deviations. Um, we could go to St. Augustine's Tower later, go to the Twin Falls first. Oh, I forgot we do need to go to Serla Falls. I almost forgot that. Serla Falls is way out here. So we could go, let's see. I don't know. Maybe maybe we do maybe we do something really weird where we go here and here and then come back around. Um, yeah, let's go get Twin Falls out of the way. Let's let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna use this for our direction, which is uh, straight up south, and then we're gonna use this for our movement and this one for our number of deviations, which would be two. And we'll go one, two, three. And then first deviation, four and five. And we don't have to take a second deviation, so we can get the Twin Falls. So now we have a waterfall, another site. And okay, day five is ready to go. We've seen some stuff. Not everything that we needed to, but maybe we can pull it off. I guess it depends what happens. Uh, we'll probably use that one for movement. I don't know. Let's see what we have. Three and four. Three would take us um, to the southeast because we could go, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. That would be great. And then we can start turning back around. Okay, so we're going to use three to go to the southeast. And we will go like, 
and then six for our movement and four for two deviations. So we'll go one, two, three. There's our first deviation. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And now we are at Gology Bug where we needed to go over here and oh i forgot we marked off twin falls so we have this one our 40.1 um two-thirds of the way done but we need to get back to cabo de rama and we haven't gotten to saint augustine's tower or sur la falls for our 30.1 i think i think we're gonna get our 40.1 i'm unsure about our 30.1 okay so there is that we are we're making pretty good progress um i guess maybe i should okay and let's see okay that was another beach so we'll mark off that beach and that was day five well now we're ready to start day six with day six we roll and one four four okay this is uh i think all right because we can go one two three four and get over to combo de rama although we could go to palo Lim, which would give us another one of those local guides because we could go do something like this where we go like uh one two um i don't know if we could let's see because a four four takes us straight south so we could go one two three I don't think there's any way to get to Palum. So I think our best bet is just to use the one for our direction. Go one, two, three, and four. Using this for our uh, number of movement and our deviation. So we will do that. One, two, three, and four. We got to Cabo del Rama, which means we have finished our 40.1. So I'm going to put a 40 point up here just to remind myself for later. But that's good. That's all done. And that's great. Actually, we could even go like that and cover it up because we did we did all those. We, we, we went to all those places. We were able to enjoy those uh, sites. Um, all right. So now we need to get to St. Augustine Tower. And Surla Falls, and then if we have time, maybe we should get over to uh, Dude Cigar and enjoy those falls too. The the prettiest water waterfall in all of India, maybe. Um, okay, so I think that's right. Let's mark off day seven before we roll. And three, five, and four. Which direction do we need to go? Well, we could use the four. You know what? Let's use the four for direction. Because remember, if we go just south straight into the sea, then we can just turn right around. So that would just make us go one, two, three. Or maybe we could go one, two, and three. Yep, that's that's what we're going to do. We'll use this for our, our deviation and this one for our movement. So because we can't go straight into the sea like this we will use the um, I mean even if we had to use the four we could go for one two three four ah that wouldn't be great one two three four five. that wouldn't get us there I, th I think I'm, I'm just making sure I'm not missing something uh, the five would also send us in the sea the four I don't think, let's see. Yeah, let's just do what I said we were going to do. We're going to go straight into the sea. So we'll go straight into the sea and go like this and go uh, then one, two, and three. Oh, we already went there. We don't need to go there. I, I see that now. Twin Falls. Twin Falls has already been, and I'm throwing, throwing all my cards and everything around. Twin Falls has already been visited. Okay, so maybe that's not what we do. I, sh I should have brought a... Uh, well, that, let's say we do... Uh, we could use... We could just use our... Because um, that's not very... That's not very helpful, is it? Um, 
we could we could switch these around. So let's say we did okay, so we want one, two, and three deviation, four, five, that wouldn't help us. If we turned uh but we only have one deviation if we do that. So let's say we turn this way instead. Okay, so this is th that doesn't exist. We went to Koiva Beach instead. So another beach, uh, which gives us an additional 10 points at the end of the game uh, because we got three of those. But we haven't been to any religious sites yet. We're not very religious in this. All right, so let's go to day eight and not forget where we're going. Um, we need to get here to St. Augustine's Tower and to Surla Falls. Okay, I'm not as confident as I was. And that's because I kind of messed up that last turn. All right, six, two, and five. Two would take us in the direction we generally need to go, but we would have to go like, let's see here. We'd have to go one, two, we could go one, two, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. If we turned... Yep, so let's use that for our number of movement, and then we have this for our deviation. So um, we'll head off in this direction, one, two, three, and then our first deviation. Let's see, one, two, one, two, three. Oh, I gotta switch those. I still have plenty of, of one, two, three, four, and five. There we go, okay, we did it. We got to St. Augustine's Tower finally. So we can mark off that historical site. And that is down here. And now we just have to get to Sir La Falls to get our 30 point card done. And like I said, this one is done. This is the one we need to finish. So, okay, let's see. St. Augustine's Tower. All right, we have four days left. Day nine is going to happen now. And we're going to roll. And three, six, five. Okay, so we need to go. Interesting. We need to go up here. And we don't have a two. We don't have any more local guides to help us out because we already used that. But we could use our deviation right again. So maybe we want to use six movement and or five movement. Let's see. We're going to say we're going to use the three and turn this at one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not quite all the way there. So maybe if we did something like maybe we went one deviation and then one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and five for our movement. So let's switch those. Okay, now that we can see what we want to do, I think that's what we want to do. So we're going to use the three for the direction we're going to go. Uh, and then we're just going to go one. We don't even need to use anything for deviation yet, but one, two, three, four, and then one of our deviations and go to Harvalum which is another uh, falls. So we get another waterfall, get three of those. Uh, if we get up here to Surla Falls and go into day 10. Looks like we're having a pretty good vacation, I think overall. Um, two, three, and five. Um, I'll, I'll uh, make that a little bit darker for everybody. Okay, two, three, and five. And now we still need to get up here to Surla Falls, which is one, two, three. So that presents a problem. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, it, it, we're perfect because we don't have to use that deviation. Okay, because we're only three spaces away. So one, two, and three spaces away using direction two. We have it. We have it nicely done. One, two, and three up here to Surla Falls. There's our third fall. But more importantly, we just finished our uh, 30 point card also. So the, both of those have been finished. 
which is nice to see. And um, I do wish my pencils were a little bit darker. And there we go. Okay, so I'm here now. And okay. I've gone all over Goa, going all over Goa, having a good time. And now we're on day 11. And if I can get down here to Dude's car and maybe see something else on the way, that would be uh, ideal. Is there any, I don't think there's a historical site I could hit on the way, but um, maybe I could hit Mahadev, that, that uh, religious site, and then I'd have a complete set of those. That would be good. All right, six, six, and one. Um, well, we're going to use the one for our direction because that just turns us around right away. And then we can go one, two, three, four, and turn five, and then turn again, and it's six, and get to Mahadev. Okay, so we're, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So it's one for our direction, which just turns us around right away, and then um, number of movement, one, two, three, four, and then our first deviation, five, and our second deviation six and get to Mahadev. And that gives us a religious site, which gives us complete set, which is 30 points at the end of the game. And then all we have to do is get to dude, uh, dude cigar for alls at the end of the game, which would also give us, um, an additional 20 points for having that beautiful shot at the end of the game. So let's see if we can do it last day of our, Wonderful vacation in Goa. See how we do. Two, three, and six. Well, that'll be our deviations. Uh, this will be our movement because we got it. We got exactly what we needed because uh, three direction is this way. So we and we just need two movement. So we just go one and two and end our wonderful vacation down here at Dude Cigar Falls and get that waterfall not that it makes a big difference but now we uh go to scoring what a wonderful nice little vacation that, that that's what this game is okay so now we're going to score uh to score how many we got to go to uh as you can see five plus three is eight um did i miss one of my i feel like i missed one of my locations um because I thought we got 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Did I, did I not get? What did I not get? Well. We have 1, 2, 3 beaches. We have 1, 2 uh, historical sites. We have one, two, uh, those are historical sites. Those, those are forts. Ah, I see. I forgot to mark off a fort because forts and historical sites both have this. Well, this one has a brown background. This one has a green background. Hey, that, that's what I missed. Okay. All right. So we did get 12. So 12 times 10 is 120 plus one complete set of 30. Um, it'd be really hard, but you could get two complete sets there. I mean, if you got really lucky, you could get everything over in here, maybe that you need, and you could go to, to, I don't know. I haven't seen it happen yet, but it'd be cool. We got to go to Dude's Car Falls, which is 20 points. Uh, we get a bonus for both beaches and waterfalls of 10 each, which is another 20. And we got on our cards 40 points and 30 points, which is a total of 70. We add that up. And we have uh, 30 and 70 is 100, 120, 140, 140 plus 120 is 260 points. 260 points. Wonderful. According to our handy dandy rules, let's see, that means that we have, because this is the solo mode, we have, we are practically going which is what we have got practically going. That's our, our achievement. The first time I played the game, 
it was my first time in going, uh, but I caught on quickly and then uh, I don't need a tour guide. And then I got that again. And then tonight, my best score so far, 260. I am practically practically a going. This is a nice light game. I like the chunky dice. I like um, going through the uh, the different parts of, of going here. It, it's it's cute. It's fun. It's nice to play this lightly. My son, uh, who's who's fourteen, really enjoyed the game. He uh, asked to play it again right after we played it the first time, um, and and he liked it. He wants to share it with his friends. He thought it was neat and uh, just an enjoyable game. I don't, I don't know if there's anything bad to say about the game other than if you're expecting something a lot heavier for like a roll and write or something like that. This isn't that, but I don't think it's pretending to be that. I think it's just a nice, easy to learn, friendly roll and write where you get to do some fun things and go on vacation and go. Uh, what a beautiful place. What a nice location for a game. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out while I played. If you have questions or want to talk about the game later on, because this will be on YouTube. Uh, let me know if I forgot something, if I missed something here, let me know that too. That happens sometimes. Happy gaming and I'll catch you later.